What's up, y'all? Welcome back. We right back at it like an attack to your spleen. Bars. Like one of my good homies said. That's a bar right there. Y'all know it was. Hot pockets, um, nigga. <coughs> we watching Zach Rushing today. I hope you're doing great. I'm doing great. Appreciate the shirt. Get no better than that. Uh, this video is cold. It's coming back. Don't know what's coming back. Might be a reference to the virus. We'll see. I'm gonna need y'all to. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Hold up. We hit 2K. Thank you all. How could. I almost forgot. Oh, my lord. Thank you all for your unwavering support. Thank you so much. Especially the day ones. Been at this what? Been at this a year and a half now, and we already had 2,000 subs. That's crazy. Um, be sure to subscribe if you're a new viewer. Uh, hit that bell notification so you know when I drop some more heat for y'all. And let's get back to the action. It is no secret, okay, that one of the hardest things to do on God's green earth is get your youngins up to go to school. I don't okay. know how y'all's morning routine goes. But whenever my little nephew comes to stay at his Uncle Zach's nephew. house, I'd rather pull the crud out of a poor hog's tusk than I would try to get him up to go to school because he's just like we were. He ain't oh real boy. interested in what they got to say. You know, the same when we was youngins. I mean, I'd go in there and they'd take attendance and I was trying to go out to win it. There was way too many fish to catch and deer to kill to worry about the Pythagorean theorem. It just wasn't on my to-do list. <laughs> okay? So I can't really fault them for it. Let's go. But this lovely little government that we have right now, you know, the one that everybody voted for, they are trying to take patriotism and God out of schools. Well, I am against that. I want that to be known foremost just right up front. I am against that. I think that's complete and total horse shit, but I ain't got no control over it. But apparently somebody up north took a little bit of liberty upon themselves to create a group. Now, in order to go around the bylaws of the state-funded schools, they had to create a volunteer group. Well, at this elementary school, keep that in mind, this is at an elementary school, not at a middle school, not at a high school, not at a university. They have created a group, a volunteer group called the Pledge and Prayer Group. Now, huh? in order to What's that? in order to be included in this group, you must get to school 30 minutes early. Do you understand how hard it is to get a youngin from like six to, to ten up in the morning dressed, right. brush their teeth, put their <laughs> shoes on the correct feet, and get them to school on time, let alone early? But apparently right. for the last 14 days, the group has been meeting at the flagpole in front of the school 30 minutes before school starts, okay? And they do the Pledge of Allegiance, and they do a prayer every morning before school. Now, this is completely voluntary, okay. and it started out from the video that I got. I got a vi I learned about this from a video from one of my followers. They sent it to me. I was impressed with it. Y'all need to know about it. But apparently it started out with about half of the uh, kids in the school, in this elementary school, showing up on the first day. By the 14th day, mm -hmm. okay, there is over 85% of the children that are showing up to pledge allegiance to the flag in the morning, show a little patriotism for the good old red, white, and blue, and say a prayer to the God Almighty. Because a lot of people's done forgot that, you know, who's really in charge and it's upstairs. It ain't down here in the White House. That ain't what's happening. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. I'm impressed with this, not only because the kids are wanting to go. I'm impressed with this because I know what it's like to get up in the morning every morning, okay? Try to get your kids ready for school. I don't have any, but I got a nephew. And get him ready for school and get him to school on time and then make get yourself ready and then still make it to work. But the, not only are the kids wanting to go do this voluntarily, wake up earlier in the morning to go uh -huh. and do the pledge and to say a prayer before school, the parents are on board with this. The parents are waking up earlier as well. They're waking up earlier to make sure that they're there on time. That takes some serious patriotism. That takes some serious spiritual growth in order to want to go do that. Now, I'm not saying that every one of them make it every time, but I guarantee you that there's an effort going on in order to make sure their kids get there. So this whole initiative that they got about taking prayer and taking the Pledge of Allegiance out of schools, the people have spoken. It is, it is complete horseshit. The people have spoken, put prayer, and put patriotism back in school. It's what needs to be there. Because if you ain't noticed, the people who aren't pledging allegiance to the flag, that don't want to be here, and the ones that don't believe in the good almighty, they're not exactly living right. They might be running this damn country, but they're not exactly living right. They ain't exactly 
uh, uh, what was the word I'm looking for? They ain't killing it. Let's just put it that way. Let's put it in redneck terms. <laughs> I needed it to be known that there is a way around that little loophole. There's a loophole out there. Go around their little initiative about taking the Pledge of Allegiance out of schools. Anybody out there that wants to create a group, y'all better get on it because we finna take this country back. Whew, that got me fired up. I love, I love shit like this. <laughs> hey, I don't see nothing wrong with what Zach said. It's nothing wrong with having uh cohesiveness and cooperation in your communities. That's that's the goal, right? All of us to, you know, get along, work together, help each other, one another, you know, create the world create a better world for tomorrow and all the future generations. This was a good video. Good first video coming back, Zach. Uh, let me know how y'all feel. I remember saying the Pledge of Allegiance every morning as a kid. I was probably halfway dead every morning while saying it, but I remember it. Well, I haven't said it in God knows how long, but I, I remember it. It was a part of my schooling as well. Um, what else? What else? I'm drawing a burning fart. Oh, yeah. What Zach said uh, about them forgetting who runs things. Yeah. We are all just just the creation, man. The creator is the, the, the end all, be all, the alpha and the omega. We're, we're just here to serve whatever purpose that he or she has set forward for us. And on that note, you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next video. And until next time. Peace out.